Hi guys, I'm Maddie Merritt and I just wanted to talk about my incredible experience with David Dobrik and Alex Ernst the other day. Well, it's actually yesterday. Oh my god, so let's start off with how the fuck did it happen, am I right? So basically, David was talking on Snapchat about how someone direct messaged him, aka DM'd him, and said, yo, I'm near your place, let's hang out. And then that kind of spiraled into, oh my god, let's invite someone to hang out with us. And they said, next person who messages us on Twitter um, gets to hang out with us. So I was like, all right, fuck it, let's do it. And I messaged him, yo, can I come over? And uh, they were like, do you live in LA? And are you gonna hurt Alex? And I was like, yeah, I live in LA, and no, no way. Um, and well, they were like, all right, you win, come through. I threw my phone at the couch, screamed for three minutes. My brother came in thinking I was getting stabbed to death um, and called my best friend, told her everything. She was freaking out too. We were both screaming. It was like, it was insane. Basically, it was just like, <laughs> and then after I got off the phone, I was like, fuck, I got to message them back. They gotta, they're probably thinking I'm dead or something. I messaged them back and I was like, yo, let's hang out. Okay, so basically fast forward and I'm meeting them in front of their apartment building where they didn't give me the address to their apartment building because they're not crazy. They gave me the address around the corner from it. They're like, all right, let us know when you're here and we'll come out and get you. So I was waiting on the corner for like a couple minutes and I was like, oh God, they're gonna come right at me with the vlogging camera. Oh my God, I gotta get ready. Um, and lo and behold, they were walking down the street and they're like, Maddie, hey! And I was like, oh my god, this is real. Oh my god, it's not a scam. And then they were like, alright, let's go back up to the apartment. And I was like, alright. I wasn't even thinking, okay, this is where I get murdered. I was just like, let's go do this vlog, because that was the only thing on my brain. <laughs> I was like, I'm meeting David and Alex. Is this real? I watch their vlogs every single time they post, like to the minute, because I've subscribed, have their notifications on Twitter, like, I am ready when they post, like, I'm at it. So, um, we're in the elevator, uh, and they're like, so, how old are you? And I'm like, I'm 22, making sure, like, I'm totally legal to hang out with them, because they're like, you have to be 18 and older. I walk up the elevator and go down the hall, and they're like, do you know where you're going? And I'm like, do you really want me to tell you? So... They're like, wait, if let's see if she actually knows where she's going. So I walk down the hallway and I'm looking at the numbers because I know exactly which number it is. Key, if you go back and look at their like old vlogs, it shows which apartment it is. But yeah, you can go and see which apartment room it is. It's not hard unless you don't really want to watch all their videos and I totally get that. But if you want to be stalker status like me... Yeah, just go watch their old videos. <laughs> so anyway, so then they showed me their apartment and um, they did like a little Q&A with me. It was like hanging out with like old friends because I feel like I know them from watching them so much, which is kind of weird, honestly. But I guess it's like if you watch any show and you become like so in tune with the characters and like you know their habits that like they'll start talking about something and they'll be like, oh my god, yeah, like, we were talking about going to some parties, like, oh my god, you guys go to college, part three, because they've gone to college once and twice already in the vlogs. If you had been watching, you would know that like me. So they were like, oh my god, she watches the vlogs, and I was like, yeah. When we walked right into the apartment, um, Liza actually was FaceTiming David, and I was like, oh my god! Liza. It's like I've walked into their everyday life like nothing has happened and we've known each other since day one so um, Liza picks up and I was like oh my god can I talk to her and he was like yeah I guess and David puts the camera right on me and I'm like oh my god Liza and she's like who's <laughs> like thinking like who am I boy with and um Basically, I was like, I just wanted to wish you guys a happy six month anniversary, and she was not expecting that at all. She was like, what? You watch the vlogs? You know, what? Um, and yeah, and then she was like, all right, let's have some girl talk right now. So I need you to convince David not to buy a Tesla, and I was like, but I thought you wanted him to buy a Tesla because then if he did, then he would work out more. Backtrack, I think, what, one or two vlogs ago? I think it was one or two vlogs ago. And she was like, oh shit, she knows! We, um, we just like hung out and they were like, shit, 
we've been hanging out a while now, but we have to get going. And I was like, all right, I get it. You have places to be, you know, movie premieres and vlogging and movie premieres and vlogging because that's their everyday life. But that's okay because what else do we really want them to do? We want them to show us like the other Viners, like we like this, like this is cool. They're like, yeah, that's basically what we do. Um, but they're like, but we have to get rid of you. And I was like, okay, what do we do? It kind of was planned. All right, you guys guessed it, obviously like, me breaking like breaking his poster and like ripping it down like that was planned obviously Alex was like begging David like please don't rip this poster and David's like I'll buy you a new one and I was like, of course just buy him a new one in that respect they do on a certain level like plan things they honestly don't script any of their vlogs to the sense where like nothing is written down beforehand they just you know kind of act it out but then if something's funny and it just didn't tape well or like things were too loud in the background, they're gonna redo the shot because it was funny. People are gonna want to hear it. So don't think that like things are planned, just understand that things aren't gonna flow the first time and they want you to be a part of it. So they wanna reenact it. Um, they're really cool guys. Like it was just, it was pretty comfortable. I mean, yeah, I was nervous as shit cause I was like, oh my God, it's them. It was definitely, the coolest thing ever um, because I really didn't expect that like I know people say like I never win anything but honestly I really don't win anything so I'm writing this down as a win because this this was a win for me this was a win for me hopefully we'll hang out again soon I mean David Alex hit me up let's be friends I mean maybe next time it won't be so awkward cuz I yeah it was hella awkward Cause let's face it, I was like, oh my god, the entire time. Yeah, let's uh, hang out again. Maybe you guys can collab on my channel. And uh, to everyone who has reached out to me, thank you. That has been super awesome. I've been freaking out about my little five minutes of fame. You guys are awesome. It really means a lot when you guys are freaking out and I'm freaking out and I'm not the only one freaking out because, oh my god, I was freaking out like crazy. So... Thank you guys. Yeah, let me know if you want to know anything else. And uh, so, like and subscribe because this was up. All right, that's it. Bye.